Good morning everyone, welcome back. As you can see the studio is completely set up from last night's questions and answers. Let's just hit the fast forward button and get ready for today's video. Seen in the beginning of the video we're getting set up and this one is the setup for this one is for tomorrow's video we're going to be doing the vinyl last piece of the vinyl artwork for the Volkswagen T4 so I'm going to take you through that but today I just wanted to run through some bits that I found on Facebook sales that tickled me and I found some absolute gems for you guys so if you're a beginner and you're looking out for a setup I can run through some little cracking bargains that I found today on Facebook sales I'll pop you some pictures up in the screen. We'll have a giggle along the way on what I found. Uh, we'll start off with the first one. Now this one, as you can see on the screen here, you see an airbrush and it's stacked on some CDs. Now the price of this airbrush is five pounds. Now why on earth would you be flogging an airbrush on Facebook Marketplace for a fiver? If you're that old up for a fiver, it's like, you're probably better off selling the CDs underneath the brush mate on Music Magpie. You'll make probably more money than trying to sell the airbrush. So things like that, I wouldn't even entertain guys. I really wouldn't when it's five pound like that. Looking at that brush, there's loads of paint all around the bit where you'd screw your quick connect on. It's probably been abused. And it's just, it can just be horrendous to paint with. It really will. So that was the first one that popped up when I thought, steer clear of that one. Moving on to the next one, now this is worth a look. When I read the actual write-up on this, this is a rich pen, let me just stick my bins on. This is a rich pen 113C airbrush. It's a top cup airbrush, Japanese made Japan. Really, really nice airbrush. Basically, my water, 0.3, brilliant triggers, solid chrome finish, a good brush. I do own a couple of rich pens and they're brilliant brushes. And this actual person that's selling it, they've got a couple of them. So that one was a really good bargain to look out for at 110. So that one was on there. Then we come up to this one. Now, this one made me laugh. This one's called the Dinky Doodle Airbrush and Compressor Kit. It's like, why would you even bother entertaining this? And then when you look at the back of the box, this is what like sells it for people. It's airbrush and compressor kit. Airbrushing will allow you to take your creations to another level. So the, this kit, the Dinky Doodle, is going to take creations to another level. And then it says, producing stunning and professional results quickly and easy. And then below that, you've got like a picture of a a properly custom painted guitar there's loads of bits on there photos of what obviously top artists have done and this company's grabbed the images to use them for the dinky doodle sales pitch so yeah things like that steer well clear of guys the next one this one as well airbrush tanning only in Essex now I would only find this one because I'm based in Essex it's like it's the three T's in Essex isn't it tits tan and teeth it's like that's what you do down this end of the neck of the country it's like flawless airbrushing for a healthy glowing tan 12 pounds now would you want to spend 12 pounds on that kit to tan yourself Pfft, i know i wouldn't i'd rather stand in the garden with a three inch paintbrush and cover myself in creosote you'd probably get a better result so yeah all these type of weird and wonderful things are on Facebook sales. Next one, we've got another Dinky Doodle. Now this one must be good because it's pink and it's for decorating cakes. So 40 quid for this one, guys. Wouldn't entertain it. I wouldn't even dream of using that to spray a cake with. Next one, oh crikey, this is another one. Aero Blend. Now, Aero Blend Airbrush Makeup kit so you get a little crappy plastic knockoff compressor and then 
if you do you really want to look like the woman that's in the picture she looks like some weird version of Barbara Streisand with like black eye makeup on so if that's the results you're going to get with your aero blend good luck the next one this one is a trigger airbrush now these are the ones where people can fall into these little traps of oh it must be good because it says professional on the title at the beginning professional airbrush kit 20 pounds me personally i wouldn't really entertain that i really wouldn't at 20 quid so that would be like a no-no the next one this one is a good brush now this is a sotar 2020 top cup i've got a sotar 2020 slim now he wants 100 pound for it for a sotar 2020 now i think that's a little bit pricey for a second hand sotar when you can buy these on I've seen them on sites for about 118 for the Sotar 2020. So a new one will cost 118 and this guy's wanting 100 quid for it. But they are a good brush, but I just think that's a little bit pricey for a second hand one. Next up, we've got another solid brush. This is an Iwata HPC Plus. Now I do own one of these brushes, guys, and I would recommend it at that price at 110. It's a brand new brush in the box and he wanted 145 starting off and now it's been dropped to 110. For 110 you're getting a good solid workhorse on a 0 0.3 which is good on really good on detail and just good on thicker body paint so it's that all rounder with a sweet spot on a 0 0.3. It's a good solid brush by our water so that one was a good find just looking through this morning. Next up, another Iwata that I found which was Iwata HPCR which is the Revolution and it's 0 0.5 a solid brush by our water another one another good one to look out for and I think that's a good price at 70 pound for a brush it really is solid our water next up a vintage now aerograph super 63 another lovely brush really nice triggers on these but they can be a pain if they go wrong they can be a pain you usually find the where the air valves are there's like a little sort i think it's like a little whether it's like a rubber washer or something like that but they go quite brittle and they tend to go there and then you have trouble with them and then getting the spares for these can be sort of hard to get the spares you really have to hunt around to try and get the spares because they're a vintage brush next up we've got a kit now this one is and I water, I think it's a studio jet compressor. And you've got an I water eclipse at 300 pound. Now, I think this would be a better price point of around 250 for that, what you're getting. Then you'd get a good good bargain at 250. 300, I think, is a little bit steep, even though the I water compressors are, they are expensive and they are robust compressors, but you just don't know how old the compressor is and what sort of life it's had but a good little kit to look out for next door this one made me giggle now the first thing the first thing i seen on that was is that a woman's hand or is it a bloke's hand it's like what is that and then you look at the brush and then read the description airbase aqua makeup airbrush 100 pound and that's like some cheap chinese piece of junk and the, the compressor is probably going to be horrendous and then i looked at the brush and i thought mm, either the air the air valve has been snapped off in that meat cleaver of a hand in the picture or it attaches some other way but another weird one weird and wonderful facebook sales for you guys this one again this is an airbrush for sale these sort of ones, these are the cheap and cheerful ones again, and this one's up for £50. Don't even go there when you see things like this. These are just the cheapy brushes, and people like getting them and like thinking, yeah, it's a professional piece of kit, and it's not. It's just a cheap box set, and he wants 50 quid for it. No, don't entertain it. Next one, this is an absolute bargain, guys, and this is on there. It is a Creos PS270 and it's up for £50 in the box. That is an absolute bargain 
for 50 pound you're getting a solid brush i did mention this in last night's video about the mac valve on the ps270 i mentioned it a couple of times the 270 i think it's a solid brush works really well brilliant for detail solid chrome finish very weighty brush long brush as well so if you've got sort of big hands they're comfortable in your hand top cut with a cap brilliant that's the Creos PS270 on Facebook sales. Next up, another little gem find I found was an, a H&S Evolution 2-in-1 for 120 quid. Now, I'm not sort of sure on the actual brand new price of these. I think they're a little bit more than that. But for 120, it's worth it all day long. I've got an Evo. 14 years old, silver line solo, brilliant brush. So a good solid one on Facebook sales to look out for. Now this one, I oh, what a revolution airbrush and Fend, Fendida something, airbrush. You're basically buying the I oh, The other one, throw it in the bin because it won't be very good. You're buying an I oh, what a revolution there, which are a solid brush, but look at the condition of that. That is beaten that looks like it's been to hell and back but they do take the abuse that looks like it's got dried up clear coat all over it not really a good sales sort of photo if you ask me you'd clean the brush up if you wanted to get that sort of money for it but I wouldn't, I'd offer about 40 quid for that just on the look of it next up another little gem for a beginner really good little setup you've got an eye water smart jet compressor and a neo airbrush you cannot go wrong with that combo there absolutely spot on for a beginner you're getting the solid compressor which is the eye water and then you're getting the neo airbrush which is like a brilliant all-rounder good solid little starting airbrush kit there for 170 quid so they're on there guys these these bargains are on there next up whatever this is the art of cake i mean what is that I mean, do you really want to paint cakes with that? It's one of these ones where, another one where it's like got no air valve on it, you have to connect it up to a cheap plastic compressor that sounds like a fish pond pump. No, don't entertain it, 45 quid, skip by that one. Now there's this one. Now as you can see in the picture, the guy is pointing to the air tank that looks absolutely battered and he's circled a bit that's obviously broken off. And in the description, it, it's basically spares or repair you basically got to fix the tank and then when you look in this picture that's the compressor on the other side now these compressors are cheap as chips on Amazon and this guy wants 50 quid for it and it is broken so yeah things like that don't even entertain just flick by next one we've got a vintage aerograph I've got one of these ones with like the big dome sort of cup to the top. Really nice airbrush. This one looks in really nice condition. It really does. Really clean. Nice vintage airbrush if you are a collector. I wouldn't be using this day in, day out, especially with like if you're going solvents and things like that. You just got to be really careful with these brushes. They don't like to take abuse and things do wear in them. And when they do wear, <coughs> you'll be struggling to get parts for them but a great vintage brush by the builders which is the aerograph super 63 next one this is a kit that i came across and this is an absolute bargain for a beginner or even someone who's sort of seasoned and you're setting up a new studio in this you're getting evolution and i'll flick it to the next picture you're getting one two three four needle and nozzle setups with this so he's brought the whole set to go for the evo you get that you're also getting your cleaners your flush through pot where you can put your brush in compressor you're getting an airbrush spray booth with a, an led light in it so if i pop in this picture up this is the video he put up so that's the actual spray booth with the light in and the extractor so you're getting that the next shot you see him fire the compressor up so the power's up it's coming up to air so the compressor obviously works it's clean and then he's just showing you a little demo with the evolution so you're getting a solid evolution like H&S and all that kit for 200 quid is an absolute 
bargain it really is so that one was on there then we've got a TimberTech tankless compressor now me personally I wouldn't entertain one of these things I really wouldn't especially a tankless one that's just continuously running and running and running with these these will get red hot I guarantee it if you're doing a big project in your studio and you are on that trigger at 25 or 30 psi these things you'll cook them up and the state of this one here it's got like looks like all sorts have been dropped over it and he wants 90 pound for that that is a no-no big time you can get them cheaper on amazon or ebay and that was the last one so there's just a few little bits there that i spotted this morning whilst having a coffee and i thought oh, i'll share them with you guys just in case you're looking for a setup or a brush and you want to get something cheap the bargains are on facebook sales they really are you can hunt through there is some crap on there as well as you've seen and people are just trying to sell you junk they might as well just throw it in the bin <clears throat> but just keep your eye out on these sites and on these forums as well some of the airbrush forums you get some decent people that airbrush and they sell their spray guns and their airbrushes at the right price you get some that like want the earth for them you think mm, there's just no way on this planet you're going to get that price for that it's second hand at the end of the day if it's not half the, half the price of a, a, new, a new one it's the third of a price when you are looking at second hand stuff so always bear that in mind so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you can join me in tomorrow's video because we're going to be doing the vinyl I'll show you how to do the vinyl. I'll do a little bit more of a step by step on that for you as well. Show you how you do the projecting up. Because I did mention that in last night's video on the questions. So I'll run you through a bit of the projecting up. You'll see me do that. A bit more of the spraying. A little bit more on the brush. A bit more on paint mix. And I'll drop all that in tomorrow's video as well. To try and give you as much info as I can. So thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget if you are new to the channel. And you're liking the content. Click that subscribe press that notification drop your comments if you've spotted any bargains on facebook sales drop them in the comments we'll have a chat i'll see you tomorrow cheers <laughs>